All right, we're going to get straight into this one. This is Abriana's cell phone. This is the text messages from her cell phone. And the officer stated as follows on 920 2017 I analyzed and reviewed the material from the forensic phone examination of, of course, Abriana's personal cell phone. The examination provides detailed information from the phone, including text messages, call logs, pictures, videos, etc. I was not able to observe any pictures or videos that may have been taken at the Crown Plaza Hotel from the night of 9-8-2017 leading into the early morning of 9-9-2017. I was able to observe conversations Abriana had leading up to her attending the party and after Kanika Jenkins went missing. The text messages are as follows. So, this is Abriana's text messages. Now, remember the UTC in Chicago and Rosemont. It is five hours behind. Or the UTC is five hours ahead of the time in Chicago or Rosemont. So, wherever you see UTC, we'll count five hours backwards. Alright? So, this says 4.30... In the morning, when in actuality, if you count five hours backwards, it would be 3, 2, 1, 12, 11. That's 11.30 p.m. on the 8th. Again, 11.30 p.m. on the 8th. Someone named Favor, okay, texts to Brianna and says, what happened? You went, this is at 11.30 p.m. on the 8th. Now, remember, they wasn't supposed to be at Rosemont yet. All right? They are not supposed to be at Rosemont yet. They are nowhere near Rose, uh, Rosemont as far as we know because we see them coming in the building or in the parking lot between 112, the building between 112 and 115. So, with that being known, um, any time before that, especially roughly around 11 o'clock, you wouldn't expect for them to be in Rosemont, especially according to the text also from Kanika's phone. All right. And we can just do a brief review of that. Just a brief review. Right here, it says, uh, we already know that um they're talking about going to the movies. Y'all still going to the movies, blah, blah, blah. All right. And... It said if they ain't sold out, you know, y'all still at your house. And then two hours later, they're telling someone by, by JJ's. And according to a subscriber, they let me know that that in meant by JJ's in Family Dollars. So they was in Family Dollars by JJ's. The JJ's that I showed you that I said there is a Family Dollars down the street. So that's what they was referring to. Okay. They're referring to that they was by JJ's in family dollars she say so this was at 1143 okay so she was still uh where was that street she was still on She was still on. Give me a second. Central. Okay. I'm on Central. And that's when the girl was asking, you know, where it on Central. I mean, uh, that's when the girl was saying, are you lost? Because she knew that Central, you know what I'm saying, she was supposed to be close by. You know what I mean? And that was roughly at 7. When the girl was asking, are you lost? Okay. So here it is. Four hours later, she's still messing around on Central. Okay. The girl said, buy JJ's in family dollars. She said, all right. Y'all still at your house. What up? What up? You know what I'm saying? So basically, they're not supposed to even be in Rosemont yet, right? So let's go back to Bree Bree's Texas. Now, 
this is where I don't uh, have a clue of what the fuck is going on. This is where it gets weird. This is where it gets real fucking strange. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? When Bree texts this, this person favor, Bree texts this person back. Okay? It's still 11, roughly 11. So it's like 11.35 p.m. still on the 8th, right? And Bree texts the person back and say, not yet. Okay, remember when they asked what happened? You went... Bree tests back and say, not yet. I'm finna get in the car with Kanika and go park her by her house. Cause the you really, she meant I, you know, eyes next to the you. I didn't even know the bitch had a donut on her car. Okay. So it's 11.35 on the 8th p.m. Y'all had not made it to Rosemont yet. And you state, not yet. I'm finna get in the car with Kanika. See, this the shit that we can't look past. Even though out of all the videos that we see in the hotel, all right, we cannot look past this text. I don't even see why the police look past this test. This kind of shit shows how the police is so fucking crooked in Chicago. Because for one thing, if they analyzed the footage when Bree Bree was walking those halls, when they first got there, and the shit that Bree was doing, and the people that she was meeting up with, and motherfuckers going all up and down the goddamn stairs and shit like that, and splitting up and all this shit, and waving to the clerk and all this, and, and, and getting things from behind the desk and all this bullshit. If the police is taking a blind eye to that shit, then that right there shows how crooked the motherfuckers is in Rosemont. The officers are crooked as fuck. That displayed it right there because there's no way you can look at certain evidence on certain things that would lead you to asking further questions about other things that will probably lead you back to the answers that you need. But you look past the obvious shit and say that you're investigating the case. That's crooked. That's crooked as fuck. So right here it says, not yet. I'm finna get in the car with Kanika and go park her by her house. This is at 11.35 p.m. on the 8th. What condition was Kanika in for you to say or text to someone that you're, were you bullshitting them or something? What condition was Kanika in for you to say that you're gonna take her and park her by her house? Let's just stick with what we see, all right? Let's say that that don't say that uh you're going to take her and park her by a house. Let's make common, common sense out of what we see. Not yet. I'm going to get in the car with Kanika and go park her by her house. Who are you parking by the house? If you're dropping somebody off, that's not called parking them by the house. When you're parking somebody by the house, that means you're parking them. You're leaving them there. You're parking the car. You're parking them in the car. You're parking them there. By her house. You're going to park her by her house. And then it says, because I didn't even know. It says, because you didn't even, but it, she really meant, I, I didn't even know the bitch had a donut on her car.
so is this uh you're gonna part to try to get the tire changed but you say you're gonna park her by her house how are you parking someone by the house if you're not the driver so if you're driving why are you driving Kanika's vehicle to park her by her house because you didn't know it was a like why would you even be concerned about the donut if you are a passenger you'll be concerned if you are a driver so this text is stating that you are driving the car you're getting in the car with Kanika so you can go park her by her house so did Kanika even make it to the fucking hotel and if she didn't then who the fuck was that that entered into the building if she didn't make it who was that that entered into the building but see, I don't want to fuck y'all heads up. Right? But I'm, I can only go by the text. I can only go by the paperwork, the files, right? See, this is the point of me going through these files and showing y'all these files. So y'all can see the shit that I see for real, for real. Okay? Enough of the watching the videos and speculating. Let's see what the paperwork do. Okay, what that paperwork do? So at eleven thirty-five, favor test bike can say, "Oh, she in her own car, and she knew she had a donut on it when she said they can see it. When she said they can see it, what does that mean? Again, are y'all parking this car by her house so y'all can get the donut fixed?" And so she texts back and say, yeah, IG, she ain't, I'm thinking she's saying, yeah, OG, because the I is right next to the O. I'm thinking she's saying, yeah, OG, but hey, we're going to go by what the text say, but I'm thinking that she's saying, yeah, OG, yeah, IG, she ain't even tell me. I just noticed it myself in that hotel in Rosemont. I don't want to see this right here confuses a lot of people also and it confused the hell out of me until I had to think about it um in right in does not only mean in it means and also they use it for in and and right and um this is this is what I had to um get from the subscriber also when it was saying by JJ's in family all so yeah this She's saying, okay, she's basically responding to when dudes say, what happened? You went. She's still responding to that, right? But she's responding to it um, in another way. She already responded and said, not yet. I'm finna get in the car with Kanika and go park about a house. So then dude said, oh, she and her own. So she referred back to um, going to the hotel she referred to going to rosemont she referred back to it by saying yeah og or yeah g she ain't even tell me i just noticed it myself and that hotel in rosemont i don't want to be driving on an e-way like that see what i mean yeah g she ain't even tell me i just noticed it myself see they don't put punctuations not all the time you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, most of the time, they don't even put punctuations in these sentences. So you got to kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, IG, she ain't even tell me. I just noticed it myself. And that hotel in Rosemont, I don't want to be driving on the E-Way like that. See, at the beginning, we thought she was saying, I just noticed it myself in that hotel in Rosemont. I don't want to be driving on the e-way like that see what I mean but again and let me fuck your head up one more time so we can be thinking on both sides of the fence what if she do mean 
I just noticed it myself in that hotel in Rosemont. So what would that put the text when she say not yet? I'm finna get in the car with Kanika and go park up by her house. Again, this is at 11.35. But they can't be nowhere near Rosemont because they still conversing with, Kanika still conversing with, well, she's not really conversing. You see what I'm saying? Somebody else is texting Kanika back and saying by JJ's in Family Dollars. Right? This is at 11.43. Somebody texting Kanika and saying by JJ's in Family Dollars. So why would they be talking about A location, you know, near this 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 neighborhood that she's supposed to be going into to go get somebody. Why is they still talking about this location if Kanika is nowhere near that location anymore? Like if she's in Rosemont or damn near in Rosemont, why are y'all talking about this location still? You see what I mean? So I'm taking it as though they're not there. They're not heading there yet. They're not heading to Rosemont yet. And some shit is going on with the tire. Um, Bree ain't feeling that shit. But at the same time, why is Bree even driving? Why is Bree even worrying about the donut? Why is she even driving? Because she said she finna go park her by her house. See, these are not the things we say when we finna go get a tire change. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So we got to revert back to that. These are not the things that we say. We're going to get a tire change. We're not finna go part nobody by their house. We're finna get in the car and go park her by her house. No, we're finna get in the car and go get this tire change. Or we're finna get in the car... We finna, we finna get in the car and go park by her house. Not go park her by her house. How are you doing the parking? You see what I mean? How are you doing the parking? How are you doing the parking if you are not driving? So you would be saying, we're going to park by her house. Because you're not driving. But you said getting in the car with Kanika to go park her by her house because you were driving but then when they got the Rosemont Kanika had her keys in her hands Kanika looked in nowhere near intoxicated she walking, playing on her phone. She doing, you see what I'm saying? Like she's doing multitask shit. She walking and looking in her phone and meshing buttons and got her keys in her hand and she able to walk straight and she ain't even paying attention to where she going. She just walking and she, you know, you know, looking into the phone. So she's kind of like multitasking a little bit that there. So how is she? anywhere near intoxicated or anything like that for somebody to be needing to drop her by her house. See what I mean? Like, what, what, what does this shit mean? What does this mean? Right? So, approximately three hours, three and a half hours later, right here, approximately three and a half hours later, uh, somebody sent a test of favor, oh, Bree, Abriana, uh, sent a test of favor stating they cannot find Kanika. She also describes Kanika to be drunk at the time. The conversation is as follows. So, this right here would be, now this would be 
4 in the morning on the night, right? This would be 4 in the morning. When they lost Kanika, she drunk and can't find her. So what does when mean? When they lost Kanika, she drunk and can't find her. Anyway, however that test supposed to be. But she's stating, of course, that she, you know, they can't find Kanika. And, the, the, you know, the person in favor is saying, oh, find Kanika. I can't believe y'all lost her, you know. Then Bree says, bitch, we done searched this bitch from top to bottom. Oh, my grandma, this bitch dumb. This is what they, what this is what she's saying about Kanika. Oh, my grandma, this bitch dumb. So, favor test bite, don't leave her, bro. You feel me? Favorite test bite, don't leave her, bro. Again, that is at 4, 12 a.m. on the 9th. So, at 5, 44, leading to 6 o'clock on the 9th, somebody by the name of Ma is texting Bree saying, maybe she with a little boy or in the car with somebody else. And Bree texts her bike and say, she not. She was real drunk, and she don't talk to no boys. Now, how do you know if she was real drunk? This is what everybody's telling you, that she was real drunk. So you're saying that she was drunk and she don't talk to no boys. That leads you to a curious state, but that's not my business. So Ma text back and say, well, probably in the car with somebody else. She know, you know. And Bree text back and say, we asked everybody that was there. So according to that text right there, we asked everybody that was there. This right here shows to me that they had them pulled off. You know what I mean? They hadn't got up out of that. I got to check the... Uh, Check the footage again, but to me, that's what this text says to me. You know, we asked everybody that was there. So this is leading further into uh, that morning, like later that morning. That's what these texts are leading to. So, you know, I'm gonna scroll down and let you see the rest of the text. Doesn't really say much. You know. Five fifty one, then here six eleven. It says someone later has a conversation with a phone number of uh, blah 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 to which she stated the following regards. Kanika, she she was. You know, it says she was. We came to the hotel party and she got real drunk and next thing you know we couldn't find her. So it is six eleven AM in the morning. So I don't know, you know, like I say, they, um, the only thing that gets to me in this text right here in Bree's text is before they even was supposed to even make it to Rosemont, you know, y'all in the car with Kanika and you finna go drop her off, go, oh no, no, you finna go park her by her house, like, that part I, I don't get. What is that text telling us? Not yet. I'm finna get in the car with Kanika and go park her by her house. What is that text telling us? It's 11.35 p.m. on the 8th. What is that text telling us? All right. 